What's up everybody? <laughs> hey, I realized I haven't even told you guys yet why I am over here in the Salzburger Lunga region of Austria. So I was just at ISPO. You probably have seen the videos that I did from the fair and all the new products and uh, if not, yeah, you need to go and see that if you're into gear, but I don't like to travel by plane. I don't like to travel by plane and then make it just like a short business trip down to Munich, which I don't really like. I don't like the city a lot. So it was really cool that uh, Salzburg Lunga region said, hey, we would invite you over with a friend. And then I called my brother and said, hey, do you want to go snowboarding or split boarding? And he said, yep. So and we drove over here uh, Tuesday. And today we were on the ski hill, which is pretty much right in front of the hotel. And yesterday we were on a ski tour with a ski touring guide we have been with also two years ago. A really great guy, beautiful story. He has like that he owned a ski school for over 30 years and then he decided I'm gonna sell the ski school and just going to go backcountry ski touring with clients because I enjoy that a lot more than being in a ski school. Yeah, and now I'm here and it's raining outside so it was supposed to not rain that low as we are here so it's supposed to be snowing but it's too warm it's raining and the skiing conditions are shit so we headed back to the hotel soon gonna hit the sauna and just relax and get try we'll try to get some work done over here too so yeah but that's that's uh, why i am over here in the Salzburger Lunga region. It's really pretty over here. They have some really great ski touring hills. Tonight's going to be like pouring down with snow. It's supposed to be coming down like 80 centimeters of fresh snow. So I really hope, if even if it's just half of that, I'm really psyched about going ski touring tomorrow and not being on a hill full of other people that are skiing and snowboarding. Nothing wrong with that, but yeah, I just prefer the solitude of being in nature and uh, skiing fresh pow and not some hard icy pieces. Cool.
Today was my last full day. Tomorrow we will just get up, have breakfast and then off to Munich we go. So I can catch my 12 o'clock plane. But I show you what happens after all the ski touring happened. And it's like I come into my room at the Grizzly Resort and um, ah, skis are there. They do have a ski room down there, but I decided I want to dry them over here so I can pack them up in my douche bag, just like afterwards. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. A shower I haven't really used yet because there's a sauna downstairs and I can go and take a shower over there and then I don't need to clean this up and stuff like that. But this is a really good place to like dry gear <laughs> as is over there, that rack and stuff like that. So. It's a bit messy uh, over here, like yes, I just came home and then the gear is flying around, but yeah. But you know how this is, it's never as perfect as if you're coming into a room the first time. Do they do a really nice job of like making the bed again in some very imaginative way every morning when I'm out. So let's uh, show you, I'm over here shooting a time lapse again so you probably are bored of that view already but it's really pretty with all the clouds and stuff so i really enjoyed that Good sauna, good. Maybe a bit too hot, maybe a bit too hot and not enough humidity, but good. So at the end of any trip, you have to pack up everything again. And these trips that are together with a fair usually are quite terrible in terms of packing because they try to give you stuff and stuff and stuff at fairs and I always say no, 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 I have no space, but then you still end up with two or three things. and. Yeah, if you travel quite <laughs> with limited space, it's a pain in the ass. The best thing for traveling with skis, and I haven't tried anything else, but I think the douchebag is really the best thing ever, so I don't have a need to try anything else. Because the douchebag is just, it works. It's super, super good in storing skis or snowboard. It doesn't matter how big your skis are. They just fit in there and yeah, you, you just get everything you need in there. That's how it is. <laughs>